Hey everyone, I'm here with a 2014 BMW 320i X-Drive, 320i X-Drive, and I want to go over 10 things that you did not know about the F30 generation of the BMW 3 Series. So the first hidden feature that I want to go over on this BMW 3 Series involves the gauge cluster. So the car is completely off right now, and I'm actually going to uh, just press the power button on the car. And I'm going to press it once. So now we're just in the on position. Now if you want to do a gauge cluster restart, all you have to do is hold down the trip reset button right here for 10 seconds. And then as soon as this 10 seconds is over, you'll see that a secret um, menu shows up, a service menu shows up in the center um, cluster right here. And as you can see, um, we now have different options. Um, we have five different options. We have one, identification, two, system test, three, start roller, four is test end to exit the, the uh, service menu. And then unlock is usually used by a dealer to um, <clears throat> to service the vehicle in case there's a malfunction with one of the electronic systems. So in order to um, uh, basically do the system test, all you have to do is hold down, once you select two by pressing the um, trip reset button, you hold down the trip reset button once you get the system test, release, and then press once. And that'll do a system test showing all the features of the car and doing going over all the gauge clusters and the screens around the vehicle. So it's a little bit of cool, cool feature, a little bit of something to show off to your friends or family members. Then once the test is finished, then press and hold this button right here until this menu goes away. And then you need to scroll down to test end, and then hold test end, and then press once to end test. And then we'll go back to the main menu. The next hidden feature I want to go over involves rebooting the head unit on the iDrive control system. So what you want to do is you want to actually find your power button right here, and then press for about 20 to 25 seconds, and keep holding that button for 20 to 25 seconds. You'll see the screen uh, reboot here shortly. Now release the button. Now it should reboot the entire head unit. So it's just kind of a cool way if you're having issues with iDrive to reboot the whole system manually. And um, I don't know, you might, just might find that useful as a hidden feature of this car. The next hidden feature that I want to go over involves the key fob if you have the Comfort Access keyless entry system. So in this key fob there's actually a physical key. In order to access that key, you gotta press this button on the back of the key fob right here. And once you press that, you can actually release the key um, within the fob. Once you have the key out of the fob, like this, then now you have this kind of physical key, and you can lock and unlock the glove box using this key, as well as um, open all the doors of the vehicle in case the battery inside the Comfort Access key fob um, wears out or is dead. So this is the key that you would use to do that. The next hidden feature that I want to go over involves a sunroof. So this is a one-touch power sunroof. I'm gonna turn on the power of the vehicle right now. And the sunroof is actually just one touch in all respects. So you're just going to press once to open all the way. And it'll stop right there, but if you want to actually open it all the way up, you just press the button once more. And then it'll actually open the sunroof completely open. And the reason why it doesn't actually open it all the way on the first touch is that it causes excessive buffeting um, if you have it open all the way in general. Then you just press straight up if you want to vent, and you want to close the sunroof from full open to full close, and then straight to vent. So just press up once. And then once you do that, the sunroof will close automatically and will open the vent. So that's pretty nice. And then if you want to close straight from vent to full close, just press forward and then it'll close. And if you have the sunroof open like this and you want to just close it um, all the way with one touch, just gotta press forward once. The next hidden feature that I want to show you guys um, also involves the sunroof cover itself. And this is common with all German cars practically. And that is that you have vents um, actually by the sunroof cover within the sunroof cover and you can actually vent fresh air into the cabin without having the sun um, hit the passengers within the vehicle. So that's a nice little feature that BMW included within the sunroof cover of this car. The next hidden feature that I want to show you guys involves the interior ambient lighting which shines down on the center console at night. If I turn on the power here, you'll see that there's um, two lights that shine down right here. And it's only visible if you have the headlights on because you need to have the headlights on. Um, so basically, let me try to focus here for you guys and show you exactly like how this works. But there's actually two lights. There's an orange light right here, an orange light right here, and those two lights will shine down on the center console at night so you can see the gear shift lever or whatever items you might have back here. And the uh, rear of the vehicle actually has the same lights as well. So that will help um, all of the same um, rear seat passengers see the items that they have in the back seat too. Another very cool feature that BMW included inside their cars is that basically um, if you have the gear shift lever in manual mode and you select park, while it's in manual mode, the gear shift lever will automatically, via an electronic motor within the center console, um, move the shift lever back to its center position so you don't get confused the next time you get in the vehicle. So if the car is in drive, such as it is right now, and you move it over to the manual mode, and let's say you select park, 
and you just don't move it back to drive, you just keep it in manual mode, you select park, this is what happens. It moves automatically back to center, which is a little bit weird, but I think that's really cool that BMW incorporated that as an extra feature in their car. The next hidden feature that I want to show you guys involves the transmission of the vehicle. So, if let's say you're in drive, and you just pull into your garage for instance, and you want to um, turn off the vehicle without even shifting to park, if you select, if you just turn off the engine with your foot on the brake, and the car is still in drive, the car will automatically shift to park on its own, and you take your foot off the brake, and the car is in park automatically. The next hidden feature that I want to show you guys involves the hood latch mechanism of the vehicle. So, underneath here you can see that the hood latch mechanism says 2x um, with the hood emblem right next to it. So that basically means that you have to pull the hood latch twice in order to open the hood, just in case, I guess, by instance, you open the hood accidentally while you're on the road so it doesn't accidentally um, fly in your face on the windshield when you're driving. So I'm going to pull the hood latch twice and you can observe what happens to the hood when I do that. There's with one pull, and that's with the second pull. So the first pull will unlock the first latching mechanism and the second pull will actually fully unlatch the hood so that when I get out of the vehicle here, I'll show you exactly what, what that means. It means that there's actually no hood latch whatsoever and you can just pick up the hood and open it straight up. Alright, so the next hidden feature on the BMW 3 Series, the F30 Generation 3 Series, is that by holding the unlock button on the comfort access key fob, you can actually uh, roll down all the windows including the sunroof. So I'd press it twice and then hold and you'll see all of the windows and the sunroof open. Windows first, followed by the sunroof as you continue to hold. Now in order to shut all the windows, all you have to do is press your finger right here and hold on the door to lock all the doors and to close all of the windows including the sunroof. Alright, so that wraps up 10 things that you didn't know about the F30 generation of the BMW 3 Series. Um, I want to thank Country Chevrolet in Annadale, Minnesota for providing me this vehicle to review for you guys. And uh, just talk to Pat at this dealership and he'll set you up with a great deal. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.